Right, let's look at how we set it up. Now previously on YouTube, the ones I've looked at, you've got flip up catches here. That makes it a bit easier. However, to access the main unit on this one, we've got screws that we have to undo. That's not so good if you're out in your camper or if you're using it in a tent because you've then got to carry screwdrivers, wrist screws and screws and so on. I guess it probably keeps the casing a little bit more um, secure and in position and in shape. But the fact that I've got 10 screws to undo every time I want to change the fuel or fill with fuel is a bit of a pain. Well, they're only short screws, self tappers, and the reality is you probably wouldn't bother to leave them all in unless you're getting like loads and loads and loads of time out of the diesel tank. Okay. But it only takes a minute to take them all off. And that's the price you pay for an all in one unit, I guess. Get a bit closer and lift the casing off so you can see. Here we go. So the downside of this is you cannot see my gorgeous face anymore. But let's have a look. Let's pull off this case. Strange. Okay. It's clear you've got to undo your cap for the tank first. It's a solid handle, nice and comfortable. Okay, that's just empty metal casing. What have we got? Well, we've got the diesel tank, which is connected by a little pipe here, a little rubber pipe. What's that? Maybe a couple of litres, two litre tank would say. Okay, plastic. Looks okay. I'll put the lid back on for now. Looks like there might be a little vent in there. We've got ooh, I guess that's a fuel filter. Right, this is this is your actual diesel air filter. Uh, this is your actual diesel air heater um, box. Okay. So all this is just casing and accessories to make it run on an all-in-one unit. So in there we've got some wiring. Um, so that goes from the control panel through here, runs round. Okay, if I show you the other side, that runs into this this box here. We've got another box here that connects into something. This um, this is your fuses, okay? If I just whip that off, it looks like it's blade fuse. Yeah, uh, 20 amp blade fuse, okay? So I'll make sure I get another one of those and just tape it in there somewhere as a spare. So this runs off 12 volt, obviously, to power the unit itself, okay? And then pump that pumps through fuel etc. We've then got, like I said, the control panel here. So I've got to put batteries in there and then I can sort all that out and we can go into it a little bit more in depth. I will try and have a look at the um, instructions but I'm not convinced they're going to be all that brilliant to be honest. So I, so I wasn't happy with the rough edges. I've cut a load off. The easiest way to get myself a straight line to start with Stick a bit of masking tape around, cut around, keep it straight. So if you follow the lines, you'll go at an angle. Okay, so I'll put the um, outlet end on there. That's going to have to have a clamp put on as well. Then this end will go onto the front here. Again with a clamp. So, you don't need to see me do that, but I will. So I've also fitted the hose clamp to the end with the air filter on. Okay, the air intake filter, should I say? And that will have another one that clamps onto the bottom of the unit. We'll come to that later because that needs to go through the bottom of the van. 
So the last one to fit the hose clamp to is a stainless steel exhaust. Now, just to be really annoying and exert some more control and annoyance to the Westerners, they have decided to put a flathead screw in that one, where the others are all <laughs> Phillips screws. Brilliant. Thank you. Right, there's a little remote control key fob here. You need really tiny screws. It just falls apart in your hand, so you need to reassemble it. Um, and you've got to fiddle about quite a bit to work out how it goes back together. It could have been a bit simpler. Um, use the three screws as well. I've got to kind of hazard a guess what batteries you use. I've got these ones. I'm guessing it's the smallest one, which is 27A on it. Yeah, it looks about right. Now that is a... Yeah, it's a 27A. So, right, we're going to try and pop that in. Yeah, that looks like it fits. Right, I've done it. So here's the key fob. So, pull that down. That's quite good. Having that cover means you won't accidentally press it. So, off, on, minus, plus. Can you see it lighting up? Look, let's have a look. So, plus to make it warmer, minus to make it cooler. On, switch it on, off, switch it off. That's quite good. Now, that should link up with the control panel, which is itself powered by the 12 volt feed that runs the pump and all the rest of it. So next thing to address is the 12 volt feed. Really important if you're going to run something like that inside, carbon monoxide alarm, alright? So I've gone out, bought myself a brand new one, even though I've got one sitting at home. This takes three AA batteries, got seven year life from installation date, okay it's a decent one, I'll mount it into the van and then I'll know if I'm going to be alive. Right, this is a cabling. It's, it's, frankly, it's a mess. It looks crap. So it's covered in kind of like a sticky cloth type tape. I don't like it. I'm going to sleeve it with something. So my 12 volt feed, positive, negative, into there. Right, here we go. So my cable's running down here. It terminates in the same sort of clips. So this is the bottom of the unit, one of those is the air intake and one of those is the exhaust. Alright, so I looked through the manual a few times, but in fact on the cover it does tell me. So the hot air, that comes out there, which means the waste gas, the exhaust, comes out there. The combustion air which is the clean air, comes in there, and the cold air inside comes in there. So looking down at the unit, it's that way round. So there we go, it's all set up now. We've got the exhaust, we've got the 12 volt cable feed, we've got the air intake, um, notice that if you bend it round on the exhaust, you can't actually <laughs> reach the floor. You've got the, the warm air outlet and everything's all ready to go.